Well, hello. Welcome to Justify or Just Do It. And this section is about how we use the spreadsheet. As you'll see here on the very first tab, we have our first steps. I want you to recognize that there are seven areas of your life that you can establish goals in. Them being financial, business and career, personal and spiritual, happiness, inner peace, lifestyle, health, and wellness. And then we also have relationships when you scroll down. Let me get back to the tab there. Scrolled over for some reason. And let's get back over here. So the first three steps in doing this are pretty basic but integral. Uh, first, we need to know there's three steps to any goal. First, we need to know what the goal is. Then we need to create a plan. And then what is the very first step? You also have a another document that I sent you, the seven categories which go into this in depth. But I want to use this as a way for you to learn how to use the spreadsheet. So financial. Let's fit, say, for example, once you define your goal, you want to make an extra or $36,000 in your business this year. There you go. So you may know that you are a coach or your clients pay you on average a 30 you know, $300 a month. If they pay you $300 a month, the goal would be to get 10 clients. That's the plan, right? But what's the very first step? If you have an existing business, which the client that I'm actually referencing here does have an existing business, uh, promote to get new clients and the best way probably to do that very first thing is to ask for referrals from existing clients see if you want the very first step would be to ask for referrals the plan is then close on those people which is the plan and the goal once we get those 10 clients you will get three thousand dollars a month at three hundred dollars a piece which would turn into your $36,000. Uh, $36, now, business, which is totally separate from your financials, but the goal would be very similar. You want to grow your business to 10 plus clients. We don't want to limit ourselves by saying only 10. That's the main goal, but once we go above and beyond that, we're fine. How are we going to do that? What is the plan? Well, we need to understand marketing and sales to understand that. So uh, I would help you with that. But in addition to that, the very first thing you could do is purchase a book on marketing and sales for your particular business right? You could have a coach, but some of the basic concepts in that you want to establish before hiring the coach so that you're not wasting your time, energy, and money. But if you're already into a business, you could already, you already know some of the basics as you already have a client base. Your coach can help you elaborate on some of that. So personal and spiritual. Now, I'm just going to use religion or church as an example here, but some of you are uh, more spiritual than you are uh, uh, religious. So whatever that is for you, realize that it's fine. We're just using this as an example. So the goal is to be have a better relationship with God. Again, this is not uh, preferencing someone else. It could be the universe. Whatever your God is named is fine. Uh, how? What is the plan for that? It, well, the plan is that to attend, in this particular case, church twice a week, which would be Wednesday night Bible study and, say, Sunday 
uh, service. But what is the very first step in that? If you are new, you, it would be to find a church. If you already know the church you want to attend, make sure you know the church's schedule so that you can attend the days that you want to attend, right? So happiness and inner peace. You know, the goal in life, in my opinion, is to be happy. Now, my opinion as an accountant, what inner peace looks like for you uh, is different for everybody. But if your goal is to be happy, right, and have that inner peace, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, we must be conscious of our thoughts and feelings. And it's a choice to be happy. Choose to be happy today. And if you choose to be happy today, then eventually when you get to your destination of your goals, you will also be happy because you've been happy the entire journey. And one of the keys, I think, to being extremely happy is to be able to forgive ourselves and others. So go and work on those relationships. So that if you're content in your relationships, you can be content in your own personal life and therefore happy. Then we have lifestyle. This is about travel. This is about how you want to live your life. Do you want to live your life in abundance of travel? Do you want to spend time with friends and family? What is it that you want as a lifestyle? So some people want to travel and spend time with loved ones, right? So in order to do that, what's the plan? Well, plan a vacation every six months or plan on having a vacation every six months. <coughs> Excuse me, a little bit of a cold here while doing this recording. But also get togethers monthly with friends and family and or family. Like, it needs to be a consistent thing that you want to do. Well, what is the very first thing in order to create that, which would be to call the people that you would like to spend time with? And when you realize that their schedule is free, you create plans around that and stick to them. And you can start planning a destination for travel also. Uh, pick a de destination and then start planning that out. Then we have health and wellness. You know, everybody's a little bit different. Some people want to get in shape. Some people want to stay in shape. Some people want to, you know, run a marathon. So for the demonstrations of this, let's say you wanted to train for a marathon. Something you always wanted to do, which was 26.2 miles. Well, what you would need to do is have a plan, which is find a date and location and a training schedule. For food and diet, for food and activity. So the very first thing is to so we'll we'll back this up. Pick a date and location. Then we would go and find the training schedule. And then you would run, do the necessary daily actions, which is eat right and exercise, and then do and execute the marathon when you've gone through the training schedule. The very last section is relationships. Now, 
Uh, I would always say work on the relationship with yourself first. For me, and I'm actually going to use my example here, is be a great father and husband. And I've defined that further in my own life, and I know what that means to me, which means to, uh, what's the plan for that? Acknowledge. Both my wife and his son daily. And what is that? For me, uh, I show my wife at the very least my five things I'm grateful for. And I have what I call daddy talk time. Each night with my son uh, before he goes to bed. So those are the daily things. And what is the plan? Every single day acknowledge both my wife and my son through those two platforms and many more. Uh, and I think the communication leads to becoming a great father and a great husband because I know exactly what's going on in their lives. So now that we have these goals... What do we do? How do we break them down? We break them down into our uh, yearly goals. Now, I would suggest picking five of the main goals in those areas, but I wanted to give you an example in each and every single one of them so that you understood how each of them worked. But again, you do have uh, some sheets that I sent you that describe those in further depth. So, how do we break these down? The ones that are most important to me for the, the purposes of this is to be a great father and husband. Then uh, what would be important, I imagine, to somebody is to create the $36,000 in income for the year. That's a yearly goal. Then get 10 plus paid clients in their business, which will help get to that 36000 income, uh, run a marathon. For some people, this may be losing 10 or 20 pounds, who knows, uh, and then attend a church regularly. And by that, I mean weekly right so those are the goals now let's say now we go into our monthly goals now that we've defined what we want to accomplish I've talked about this a little bit and let's just say that the year begins in January I do see here on the sheet that there's nine goals here it doesn't mean that you need to have nine goals but you could have multiple goals and you could expand these any way you choose to add goals, but I would suggest having about five goals each and every single month that you focus on. So, uh, the goals for the month of January could be to spend quality time with both wife and son. Uh, and what does that mean? Like, I want to get my wife flowers at least once I may write her a love letter I will do my daily five things of gratitude for son what does that mean trips to the park games at home puzzles uh, daddy talk time those are all very important things to me that I'll make sure that I accomplish uh, throughout the month uh, and be very conscious of it throughout the month. But also, uh, if you're new to your business or want to grow your business to the $3,000 a month, the goal would have uh, to strive to get $3,000 uh, per month. But maybe, depending on where you are, that means getting two new clients this month 
on multiple month contracts, right? It all depends on what your business looks like. Uh, so what, what does that mean that you will be getting an additional $600 this month, but if you get two more next month, now it'll be $1,200 because it's a multiple month contract. And if you do that over multiple months, you will eventually reach your destination of the $3,000 a month. So, uh, in regards to your training schedule, right, for marathon, do the first month runs. Do the create and execute the diet plan for the marathon diet and exercise not just a, and then for the month you're going to attend eight church services because becoming closer to god uh is important to you <clears throat> so that's the month now we come down here to january it is the month of january and we need to break this down into weekly now we just start with the first week so what does this look like in the first week of January? Well, it looks like uh, daddy talk time nightly. Five things of gratitude daily. Send those things out, right? For your marathon, run four times this week because that's what was on the training schedule, right? Right? Now, you said that you wanted to get some new clients, so f follow up with current, current clients to ask for referrals. Purchase sales and marketing book. And then attend church on both Wednesday and Sunday. Now, I look like I put some numbers in here. We'll delete those out. Uh, and what does that look like on a daily? So, so meal plan for run schedule. Go for three mile run. I'm just putting that in there. I don't know what's on the schedule because it's not my run schedule. Uh, reach out to three current clients via phone to ask for referrals. Purchase that sales and marketing book. on Amazon. That way you don't even have to go out, right? And then make sure that you uh, do your five things list and daddy talk time. Now there are six things on the list. The goal is to do at least five things towards your goals each day. So you've gone through Monday and you said, oh wow, I had a great day of eating. I'll give myself a point. I went for my run. That was great. You know what? I reached out to two clients, but not the third. I only made two phone calls. So in high integrity, because your intention was to do three, you actually take a negative, even though you did something. If you want to put in parentheses, just so you know you did something, you can do that. Called two, but didn't do the full three. So high integrity, no judgment here. You did most of it, but you didn't do what you said you were going to do. So you take the negative. You did purchase the book. You did your list of five things. And you also did your daddy talk time. You'll notice here that you did five positives and one negative for a total. The goal was five for the day, but you got four. Why? Because five minus one equals four. You'll see over here, you will total the four so far for the week. The goal is 25. 
I'm not going to put your list of things, but at the end of the day, as you plan out this, then you get to look and say, what am I doing for the week on Tuesday that I didn't get accomplished? Now, the book's probably on its way. You're still going to do a daily gratitude. Still going to do daddy talk time. Now, you don't do this in advance. You do it day by day basis because you don't know how things are going to go. It's actually a rest day. Uh, from run, but you may be stretching. <coughs> I apologize for the sneeze. Hopefully I edit that out. Um, follow up with current clients. So call last client that you didn't call the day before. You also may want to um, let me see here. Uh, follow current clients, do that, and then you know what? Uh, just consume water to stay hydrated. Oh, actually, follow up on any referrals. To grow your business, right? So at the end of the day, you sat there and you go one, one, one. You did them all. You had an amazing day. If you notice, you total five here, total here, and it automatically autofills over here to know that you got nine. Again, if your goal is to get 25 points a week, realize you can do more than five tasks. But my suggestion to you is to just do five at first. We need to get in the habit of doing a minimum of five things. You'll see that you will find yourself become more and more productive and understand your time management that much better the more you do this. It usually takes about three weeks for you to get the hang of this because they say it takes 21 days to create a solid habit. I hope this uh, tutorial has helped you if you need any assistance, please, on our coaching call, uh, ask me. But this is a huge tool in your development. It helps me help you on the coaching call because I see in a snapshot everything that you've done throughout the week. So when we get to our coaching call, uh, it's literally me asking you questions based on uh, moving forward, not getting caught up. We don't want to waste your time on those coaching sessions as they are invaluable.